Hi YouTuber. Uh, pre in previous video we were testing uh, the antenna with the whole loading coil jump out. So now we remove let's remove the jump wire and go inside and test the antenna again today the weather is cloudy antenna is uh, attached to the testing bridge and three wire are going out to the test gear. Okay, let's uh, turn the power on and then start the test. Now uh, is 4.1 megahertz, and this this is the the test waveform. Inside is the uh, uh, I don't know which one is which one, so I will unplug it to see which one. This one antenna, and this one. Uh, the R reference. Okay, let's vary the frequency to see the change. So with the full loaded. You can see the when the frequency change. When the frequency change, uh, there is a dead zone in the center. One is uh, around the nine mega. The other side is four point six mega, and the dead zone, the dead zone. I don't know why the. The intensity is going down. Okay. Let's increase the amplitude. Okay, this the dead zone is around sixty six six point six six point seven megahertz. So the whole thing is shift. Shift over to the higher uh, the the whole the is shipped. Uh, the upper is shipped to nine point two mega, and the lower is shipped to four point. Six. This one is lagging. This one is 
is leading. The face is leading. Okay, let's change the thumb base for you to see clear. One. This one is. This one is leading. This one is lagging. When it's lagging, it's more inductive. It's 4.5. And then when it's leaking, it's 9.1 mega. And the dead zone is 6.7 megahertz. When we go in to the maximum of my my single generator, this 13 megahertz, this antenna is useless because it's out of uh, uh, it's not uh, 1550 ohm anymore is so is so much uh capacity so the the amplitude is going up and then when I lower the frequency to where the uh is close to fifty but uh it still uh, have a capacitance capacitive uh, uh, the atoms uh, involved, so it's leading. Now it's changed to the dead zone. Here is almost zero impedance to this frequency. It's like a short. It's six point eight megahertz and then I go down and it's six, 4 point six is back to the 15 ohm uh, total uh, in, 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 the total reactants uh, is close to 15 but uh, the face is lagging so if I keep going lower, keep lower, keep, keep going lower, all of a sudden is 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 free free over again. It's free free over again in the frequency. Uh, let's see this frequency. Uh, so. We have another walking possible possible walking place is three point six megahertz and then if I keep lower lower the frequency it start to uh unusable and then I go lower and lower 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 it's use it's use is start become use useless. Uh, it's, now it's out of it's the reactants uh, plus the uh, the the real power and the imaging power uh, plus together is too much. So it's over too much. Fifty is more than fifty ohm too much, and the frequency is low. So it's it's use this and then when I increase the frequency increase the frequency and you can see uh, it's a, there is a usable usable place in a 3.6 so now we have three three projection uh, which can be could be useful place. Uh, 
one is at uh, one is at uh, four point five, and the lower one is six point three point five and four point five. Uh, 4.5, 4.044, almost 4.5. Four point. Uh, it's closing to each other. Okay, this this one took a perfect match here. 3.9 megahertz. But uh, I am wondering this uh, oscilloscope is telling me the truth. So I will turn on the second oscilloscope to see if the, if this uh, oscilloscope here is telling me the truth so so let's start first start to align the position of the, the center to the other and let's lower the intensity here to save, save uh, the life of our uh, phosphor and then remove the connector uh, I have to release uh, it from here the, the, the cable is, is not so I lower my bridge down to a place, and then now I can I can move the. So I don't know which one is which one right now because the the wire the cable is tangled. All, to, all tangled together all tangled together I don't know which one which one is which one right now so it's it's really to shoot okay I will stop the camera when I figure it out I'll be As you can see, the uh, now we can tell the which one is the uh, antenna because it's always changed. The magnitude is always changed, and the constant one is our reference. Our reference is kit kit constant. So I so we don't care right now. We don't care about which one is which one. So I rearrange the the wire to the bridge here, and the bridge is uh, 15 ohm. Uh, one is it goes out from the generator to to uh, from the generator to here. So this. So our reference reference uh, single and this one is the monitor of our reference single and this one is our uh, antenna monitor uh, single and this one is our uh, antenna this one is going outside it's going outside to 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 the to the to the an, antenna you can see it's going up to the antenna to the antenna so and now it's uh, the dead zone is 6.7 and let's check it 
with this one to see. Okay, the dead zone. The dead zone is not a good place to look at. So let's change it to. Change it to. Uh. Perfectly match the place we can see here. We got a sweet spot here. Three. 3.9 3.9 is look uh, very sweet to us this this is uh, probably almost 50 so let's see if this uh, oscilloscope is telling us the 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 truth of it so let's move it to this one which I repair. Oh, this do though these two, these two oscilloscopes were all fixed by me. So it's really I don't know. Is is if whether if these two are still in alignment. I don't. I really don't know. And. Uh, Okay, let's increase the intensity so you can see better. Okay, in this oscilloscope, uh, it looks pretty much the same as uh, this one. So, the, this one did not tell me the line. So, I am very sure this antenna with uh, four loaded uh, gigantic uh, uh, loading coil right now is working perfectly in uh, in this four frequency 3.924 megahertz it's double chain I think I we don't need to go to other oscilloscope here uh, is too much to see so I only show you in this those two uh, oscilloscope here thank you for watching